How's the royal family? I pray that everyone is doing well. Well, my royal family, I am back um, for a very special reason. Now, you know over here on the true royal family, I always do my due diligence for the royal family and make sure that y'all are abreast on, you know, to keeping up with the news, you know, because y'all out and about doing your thing. And um, so I've been checking, you know, every few hours to see if XDA Faith Sally Johnson, yeah, I'm making up her name because she's a Sally, will give her. Um, defeatist speech we ain't heard nothing from you faith where you been i mean you mean mugging don't mean nothing don't mean nothing i don't care you looking at me like that i will snatch that wig off you know so you supposed to remain professional and there's a thing called political prostering you know you have lost your tack in diplomacy long ago we already know this and anytime um, people are running a race you come out you congratulate the person that you was running the race um, against and congratulate them and say you appreciate them and it was a hard fight but I know that you can um, endure and I'm going to do everything I can so there's an easy transition. You know, that's the way it's supposed to go. But you ain't around, Faith. Where you at? Where you really at? I have some ideas where she may be my royal family and what she's possibly doing. But before we get there, my royal family, we're going to check a little bit of history and then we'll get back into reality so this video I'm gonna show the royal family um, was long ago and we're gonna hear long ago what Faith had to say what she really had to say now even though it was a day or so ago in Faith's world when she, if she watched this it's going to seem long because it's going to be painful, the things that she said. So let's hear what Faith had to say. You know, I had to do it, Faith, so don't get mad. Don't get mad. Political races is for district attorney. Democrat John Crusoe is taking on the incumbent Republican Faith Johnson. Political reporter Jack Fink live at the Crowley Courts building with a look at Johnson's campaign and priorities. Jack? Well, Gilma, Governor Greg Abbott appointed Faith Johnson as Dallas County DA nearly two years ago. The question now is, can she, a Republican, be elected DA in this Democrat-leaning county? I have proven to the people of Dallas County that I can do this job. I'm worthy of this job. I am a leader. Republican Faith Johnson says voters should look no further than her record. You have DA's offices all over the county, all over the country, not county, all over the country that have attempted to prosecute a police officer for shooting an unarmed citizen, and they've not gotten that verdict. And the top of the list, she says, her office won a murder conviction of former Balch Springs police officer Roy Oliver in the shooting death of 15-year-old Jordan Edwards, who was unarmed. Johnson faces another test. She has met with the family of Botham Jean after being shot and killed by a Dallas police officer who said she mistook his apartment for her own. The DA says her office is conducting its own investigation besides the Texas Rangers. She says aside from prosecuting, she knows when to give second chances. As DA, she says her office has expanded the number of diversion courts that allow people to have their records cleared if they pass the program. In addition, she began a program that allows all Dallas County residents to avoid paying bail if they're facing a Class A or Class B misdemeanor for possessing marijuana. It doesn't matter what you look like. It doesn't matter how old you are you'll be able to get that PR bond, meaning being released on your own recognizance, 
not having to pay a dime if you're arrested for those offenses. Johnson says her campaign theme, establishing equal justice for everyone, is attracting Democrats. Yes, a Republican will win, not can, will win. And Johnson says she's proud of her office for setting up expos that help residents clear their criminal records and for establishing satellite offices to make it easier for domestic violence victims to reach out for help. We'll take a look at Democrat John Crusoe and his priorities coming up at 5. All right, my royal family. Ooh, let me shut this down quick. Did you hear what Faith had to say? Did y'all hear that? You said you was going to win long ago and faith that last frame of you in that blue coat your wig was sliding girlfriend you know you gotta glue that shit down or something i ain't never wore a wig so i don't know how you do it do you put some crazy glue on it or something sometimes you be looking jacked up girlfriend you know you making them coins don't got your makeup on right you don't have to have that shit up under your eye now, why you ain't coming out to speak to the people? Because some people did vote for you, you know. Some people did, you know. Who are you going to blame? You know, who are you mad at? Are you mad at Amber Geiger? Are you, you know, you, was, you didn't set this thing up to throw the case? You know, karma is a bitch. Lying, talking about, y'all didn't, um... Um, Y'all still on the investigation and um, then talked to over 200 people and y'all got a lot to do. A lot to do of what? Straight bullshit. I know your game. I know your game. Because um, if you would have won and went to, uh, to the grand jury, um, you was going to make sure you put shit in the game, delete shit, not make a big picture of it. See, my royal family, D.A. is slimy, crazy, crazy, real greasy. Got to think about it. When um, the other um, D.A., when she was mentally deranged, um, when she had to go back to the loony, um, to the, to the, the crazy house, the governor said, who could I put in that position? And he thought of you. Because of your perf performance. I know you have taken joy locking up the royal family and ridiculing them and giving them big fines and just making their life a living hell on bogus shit. And Faith, I seen my weed up there. You stole my weed. I don't appreciate it. You know, I want my shit back. I don't want to see my weed all up on the TV. I need my shit. I live in pain. Yeah, this still me mugging. Look at her. My royal family. This, this, I mean, this face is wrong. And then right here, check this out. She look like she didn't, let's see. Can I get a clear one? Okay, this one kind of fuzzy. But anyway, the fuzzy one, she look like she ain't had a drink or two. You know, like, you know, like when a person get drunk and they be trying to hold their liquor and all of a sudden their head gets stiff and, but them eyes be rolling in their eye, in their eye, in their head and stuff that's what that look look like now i could be wrong maybe she don't drink i don't you know but <clears throat> i'm just wondering you know you look at these these pictures up here and see my royal family on a serious note because i've been staying on face ass um we are vibrational the most vibrational people say it often so i often say I don't listen with my ears, I listen with my heart. But basically I'm saying, I'm feeling you out. And that's how we are overall. Because us, and the reason for this is because we are chosen. And we're supposed to be empathic and have many beautiful divine gifts. Please tap into them and honor what you feel. I mean, really, really honor it, even if it's our own. Because... That game then played out so long ago. They think they're going to throw one of our own up at our face and uh, we just going to bite. We just going to bite. No, no, no. We getting just as savvy as the rest of y'all greasy asses. You know, we the righteous ones. 
but uh, we're going to balance. No, we're not going to balance it out. We're going to weigh it down. We're going to wear y'all asses out. I don't care who it is. If you are upholding white supremacy, I will take joy in dragging your ass and throwing my vibes on you. You know, I can't stand people like this. So anyway, my royal family, I have one more video. Because, um, you know, you know what she said. You know, she made herself look like a fool. Hey, don't get mad at me. I know some people like her, but <laughs> really? Voters rejected one former judge and elected another to be district attorney. Fox Force Brandon Todd at the Frank Crowley Courthouse with more on that story. Hey, good morning, guys. Former Judge John Cruzo says he's ready to get to work, and he says the win means voters are wanting an end to the status quo. Former Dallas judge unseated the incumbent, Republican Faith Johnson. She had 40% of the votes. Cruzo won 60% of the vote, and he says he already has plans for some of the changes he'll make. And anybody charged with less than four ounces of marijuana cases won't be prosecuted. As a practical matter, I mean, we're basically there already. They're doing things like conditional dismissals. For example, I had a client recently who had to buy 12 cans of food to give to the North Texas, North Texas Food Bank, and his case was dismissed. I mean, why are we even wasting time doing that? Johnson was hoping to be elected to her first full term after being appointed by Governor Abbott following Susan Hawke's resignation. Curzo says he'll continue fighting for criminal justice reform and says staffing changes in the DA's office may happen if necessary. Tim, Lauren? All right, my royal family. Let me put this down. Woo, forgive me. Well, my royal family, I mean, we already know, but I just had to rub it in a little bit more. You know, just a little bit more because this don't make no sense. You know, I'm going to show y'all something here. Now, I'm going to put in Faith's name. You know, homeboy gave his speech, you know, like he was supposed to when he won. Faith ain't nowhere around. And if you look up here, six hours ago, 15 hours, three hours, you know, they talking about it. Okay, then we click over here and then you see more time you know 12 hours 16 hours and faith ain't nowhere to be found so the question that i ask my royal family where is faith what's she really doing you know i don't trust her is you in that office throwing away evidence hiding evidence manipulating because you up in your feelings and you vindictive and you want to lash out at the royal family. No, you need to lash out to your white daddy. We didn't do shit to you. All you had to do was be truly transparent. But it ain't in you. That's why you were selected to do greasy shit. And you keep riding on that thing about... Um, you done got this officer locked up for 15 years and stuff. You manipulated that too, you know? And I don't appreciate the down talk, having your attorney down talk um, um, the royal family like we better be happy with what we get. This country, bitch, will never, ever begin to pay us back. Never, ever. Because what they owe us is never ending. As I speak, somebody is fucking over us. Now, see, my royal family, like I said, I'm serious-minded. But don't ever think, don't ever think, don't ever think I take this as play. Yeah, I'm up in my feelings, too. I'm sick of these motherfuckers. Now, this bitch ain't around, and I don't trust her. And I know she'll do everything to withhold stuff and to hide stuff and all of that. It ain't going to be no smooth transition. This brother going to have to dig. And then there's more delays and, um, and um, um, more deceit, more destruction. You see what I'm saying? If she would have solidified that shit while she was running office, she could have possibly had a chance to say, okay, she's doing her due diligence. There's plenty of black folks 
um, in Dallas would have came out in droves. But see, we know your game. We know your game, bitch. Oh yeah, straight up. You can mean mug all day. Yo, you, you need to take your tight ass with your false teeth and that old crooked ass wig and go live up under a motherfucking rock. And there will be more coons to follow your ass as I speak. Because you got the nigga moment of the century, you know. And you ain't a good actor at all. You're not convincing at all. We ain't never felt you with your phony ass. Get the fuck up out of here. Get tired of looking at these motherfuckers. Forgive me, my royal family. I just had to let that out. So anyway, my royal family, render your voice with your beautiful, divine words. And as always, my royal family, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your support. And with that said, I shake.